It's such a common refrain in India. There's just so much to see, but so little time to see it. And we are talking about what millennia worth of heritage? That's why we at Swaraja have a plan. Kashipath 2019, a marathon heritage road trip from Bangalore to Kashi. Our 3,000 kilometer long journey to Kashi begins on 17th November with a visit to the Sri Basaveshwara Gayatri Temple in HSR layout. As is the custom, we seek blessings before we take off. And soon we are underway with Savari Car Rentals, our travel partner. We head towards the first stop on our journey, Le Pakshi, which is about 120 kilometers across the border in Andhra. And it's quite a smooth ride along the airport road and the team can't contain its excitement of the journey ahead. After about a three hour ride and a pretty nice breakfast, we are in Le Pakshi. Getting there, we spot the huge statue of the vulture king Jatayu from the Ramayana. We are eager to get inside the temple and take a closer look. And what a beauty it is, a true testament to the Vijayanagara style built five centuries earlier. Now it's a Sunday, so there are quite a few people around, which is heartening to see. We enter the temple and the carvings immediately catch our attention. The designs are so exquisite that it's hard not to skip a breath. You can see here a mandavam that is in a kind of unfinished stage. The mandavam has a very interesting story. Virana and Virupashana, and they were building this magnificent mandava for Shiva, particularly for commemorating his marriage. So this is called as Kalyana mandava. Perhaps here is the sculpture that gives meaning to the entire legend built around this incomplete structure. You have here Shiva and Parvati in a very lovely marriage scenario where Shiva is holding the hand of Parvati in such a loving manner. Perhaps it is this that provides the vitality for the entire tradition that has grown around this structure that this is built as a Kalyana Mandapa for Shiva. The sound of temple bells are of course music to our ears. But what is also nice to hear is the sound of families, all speaking different languages and discussing the temple architecture passionately. And although Lepakshi isn't exactly a tourist hotspot, it was nice to see even the international tourists make their way in great numbers. Pillars occupy a dominant presence in the Veerabhadra temple at Lepakshi. There are about 70 to 80 if you go by local estimates. But there is one pillar in particular that attracts eyeballs. It is the hanging pillar or the Akasha Stamba. We even tried this fun exercise of dragging a piece of cloth from underneath the base of the pillar and it just went right through. But apart from all this apparently anti-gravity stuff, there's one particular carving which is not too far away from the unfinished Kalyana Mantapa. It is the carving of a Ganesh. It's quite majestic uh, and a sight to see and it's evident from all the people that gather around it in the temple. As I look up walking through the temple corridors, I find some of the most mesmerizing murals I've ever seen in temples. The ceiling paintings are something to behold. Sadly though, Time has taken its toll and many have been lost. 
but some still stand in their colorful glory. Ceiling paintings aside, we look at the stories depicted on the temple walls. We have some fun identifying stories that we might have encountered in childhood or while growing up. And there's one in particular that catches Aravindan's attention. And here in the outer wall is carved a very beautiful series of panels depicting Arjuna getting Pasupadastra from Shiva. The whole series of events called Kradarjuniyam been immortalized in the imagination of Indians throughout the ages. Sculptures, poets, folk traditions, Puranic traditions, they all have contributed to this particular incident of uh, Shiva and Arjuna fighting over a dead boar and then Shiva giving Arjuna Pasupadastra. It is late in the afternoon and we are getting quite hungry, so we decide to just quicken our steps around the temple before heading out. This is just day one of our trip to Kashi, and this is just the first pit stop. There is so much more to see, but for that, you've got to stay tuned and you've got to follow us on our journey to Kashi. With Lepakshi done, our next stop is Hampi, and it's going to be quite a ride. So, we'll catch you in the next episode tomorrow morning.